What is going on everybody? Welcome back today to another NBA 2K18 My League Rebuild and today I'm surprised I haven't done this one yet. It's a Luka Doncic Kings Rebuild. So the Kings actually got super lucky. I think the most luck in this drift and they jumped from 6 to 2 I believe or 7 to 2. One of those maybe it was 6 to 2 and yeah they got insane luck in this year's draft. Them and Atlanta really got the nicer part of this draft. So I'm surprised I haven't done a Luka Doncic Rebuild because Everybody now thinks that DeAndre Aiden is the consensus number one, and then Luka Doncic. People think is the best player in this draft, would fall to the Kings at two. The thing that me, like, kind of uh, makes them maybe not, maybe go for a Mo Bamba, Jaron Jackson Jr., is because they already have Heald, they already have Darren Fox, but I really don't see Buddy Heald as, like, a superstar player. I do see Fox as the potential, and Doncic, so what we are going to do is, I know if Doncic, wait, if I move him to small forward, does he go up? He actually goes up to an 80. So as of now, he's going to play small forward. But Buddy Heald, I think you might be a six man throughout this video. I don't know if he will start. Maybe he will start next year. But unfortunately, we do not have our first round pick, which kind of sucks. So we are the Kings. This is a fantasy style rebuild. I can do whatever the hell I want. So this is going to be very interesting. Now, Kaboklo and Stein. We're not going to offer Kaboklo the qualifying offer. But Willie Coley Stein, let's definitely offer that. And I would still like to say, I appreciate all the support on the videos lately, guys. I'm just... Where I'm itching towards that NBA draft and that first trade that's going to be made. So I'm really excited for that. Now, we really don't have many bad contracts on this team. Because 2K is kind of messed up contracts. So all of them are in free agency, basically. Buddy Hield wants 15 miles next extension. Okay, so what we are looking for is big men. So let's look at the big men market here. There is some good ones. Jordan, Whiteside, Marcus Saul. Don't get Marcus Saul a lot. He wants 32 mil. Man, why? What power forward would you hear? Porzingis... Not going to get uh, Bosch. Eh, he only wants 9 mil. Tobias Harris. Do I pick up Tobias and DeAndre Jordan? Just say F it. I mean, Kawhi Leonard would be kind of cool. Paul George. I'm not going to go after any of these guys, I think. What shooting guards are here? Jimmy Bart. Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson, De'Aaron Fox. Okay. Could I pick up Clay Thompson and Marcus Saul? Let's front load this. And then, I guess Marcus Saul. I don't normally get Marcus Saul. So, Marcus Saul. Would be kind of nice. Can I, like, lowball you a little bit? Like, I'll give you 30 mil. Like, I'm not trying to give you 30. I'll give you, oh, God, 31 mil, two-year deal for Marcus All. And that's going to be a front-load contract, too. All right. If we could pick up Marcus All. Okay, we do have Stein as a restricted deal. No, like, I don't really care about Kaboko, Shumpert, Temple, Kufos, or Vince Carter. So let's advance today. We actually pick up both of them. So we're going to renounce the rights on Temple, Shumpert, Carter, Kufos, Kaboko, Nigel Hayes, former Wisconsin Badger. Also, I think he was on the Knicks G League team. Uh, we are going to renounce the rights on Jakar Sampson, Jack Cooley, and probably Zach Randolph. And we are going to sign Clay Thompson. And can we sign Marcus Saul? Okay, we are going to have to renounce the rights on Willie Cauley Stein to get Marcus Saul. So yeah, that's basically a lot going there. So. Let's wait. Let's make sure we get them. We also have a $4.63 million mid level exception. I don't think I'm going to use that. I'm going to hopefully get a $9 million one next year. So if we look at our team, we have Fox. I don't know if Mason will be a backup. We have Thompson and Heald and Doncic and Bogdanovic, which I really like. We have some very young small forwards. So we're good at guards and maybe a backup point guard down the stretch. So really power forward. I don't think Scout could start. I do like Scout maybe coming off the bench. We do have Gasol and Giles. I don't think we have any cap space left over. I mean, Kenneth Fareed only wants... Okay, we could actually make a play for Kenneth Fareed. Um, I don't want to use my mid-level exception. So, could we do this and a player option for two years? Hmm, I don't know if he will accept that. He will! Wow! Okay, very nice. Maybe that was my mid-level exception. Not sure. I think it was. That kind of sucks. All right, so Tobias Harris is going to go back there. Chris Middleton looks like he's going to go back to the Bucks, And, yeah... Dwight Howard, is he going to go back to the Hornets? He's actually going to go to the Mavs. Actually going to go to the Mavs. And I will see you guys at training camps when I'm probably going to send Doncic. Mm, Doncic, Fox, at least on top potential. I don't know if I have a really good trainer. I forgot who it was. Our coach is also named McMillan. I did fire David Yeager, Yorger, Jorger, Yorger. All right, guys. So let's go to training camps. Oh, we actually do have three. So definitely Doncic. Maybe I'll even just send it to Heald. Actually... We'll send it to Scal or Bogdanovic. Actually, I, I'm a big fan of Bogdan, Bogdan, Bogdan. Bogdan Bogdanovich, Bogdanovich, okay, I'm going to butcher his name, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher his name, I'm really bad with some foreign names sometimes, now, let's go to coaching, so we have Fox Clay, ooh, I'm really excited to see this, Doncic, Fareed, Gasol, Heald, Bogdanovich, Labissier, Danny Green, they signed, eh. I mean, okay, because I'm probably going to send Giles, actually, no, let's play, let's play my boy, my UNC boy, Justin Jackson, I'm probably going to send Giles and 
Vanderbilt two on top uh, to the G League. Mason probably not even gonna bother. Uh, let's see here. Let's give you 15 minutes. 21. Let's do uh, 23. Let's do 26. 32. Uh, we can go 20 to the Manimal. 35. 35. 35. And then we'll go 33 there. Okay. So, uh, real quick, I got to sign a free agent. Who is uh, Alfred Camino still end up here? How is Lonnie Walker here? Okay, I got him in yesterday's video, I believe. The Jazz rebuild, yeah. So, I'm not going to get him in back-to-back -back videos, but I'm going to probably keep doing it. If nobody drafts this guy, or whoever drafts him, just lets him go to free agency, which is just outrageous at this point. So, let's send Jared Vanderbilt, who was our second-round pick, to the G League. And let's do the same with Harry Giles. So, who is a free agent at the end of this year? Is Harry Giles a free agent? Because if he is, then I'm not. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Um, and yeah, so healed is Bogdanovich, but they will be restricted deals. And yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Uh, are we supposed to make the playoffs? We'll see. 10? Okay. I would actually really enjoy if we made the playoffs year one, but we'll see. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. We also don't have our first round pick. So you know what? Yeah, we better make the playoffs. All right, guys. So I don't think we're going to make the playoffs unless we win these two. The Jazz lose the next two with the Spurs and we have the tiebreaker. But if we don't win these next two, we're not making the playoffs. And yeah, there, there's the clincher. So we went 41 and 41. We were the ninth seed. I have no idea how this team doesn't make the playoffs. Honestly, Marcus Saul, you were a cool experiment. The reason I got you is because I never get you in these games or in the... All right, maybe it wasn't your fault. Okay, I blame this immediately on Marcus Saul, but we got to get a better, like a good defensive-minded power forward, I think. Draymond Green would be somebody that comes to mind because I did just re-sign Buddy Heald for like 18 mil a year, so I could do that as a swap, but Draymond's probably a free agent because ah, 2K is so messed up. Ugh. All right, any Kings, any Kings. Luka Doncic in his rookie year, 15 points, 6.2 rebounds, 5.3 assists. I think... Yes, you have Buddy Heald, then you have De'Aaron Fox, and I would honestly really like Doncic to play at a backward spot, but I don't think he's a bad uh, small forward, nor I, I think he's a better player than Buddy Heald, so I think you draft him. If you don't go him, you go Mo Bamba, the Kings, but the Kings, don't mess this up. Either trade down, take Doncic, uh, I say. Either one of those two. I mean, Bamba's a little bit of a reach. You could maybe trade down and get him. Maybe, I don't know if Atlanta's full on taking him. If the, Atlanta likes Jared Jackson Jr., Try to trade down maybe to Dallas. I'm actually no, or Memphis. Maybe Memphis will trade up. They'll give you somebody. Maybe they'll throw you Dylan Brooks and a pick. I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know much with trading down and trading up in the NBA and what's valuable and what's not. So, yeah, Don, uh, Fox 16 and 6.5. Wish he kind of had more assists. Clay 18, three and a half and three. There's Gasol, Heald, Farid, Bogdanovich. Maybe I'll trade Bogdanovich instead of Heald. Uh, Labissier and Justin Jackson. So, eh. We didn't make the playoffs, but I think we can definitely win it all in these next couple years. I mean, we do have a great point guard, shooting guard, small forward, and center. So, I think we need that power forward. If uh, I'm not going to get Draymond, i got to find a better defensive power forward. Obviously, I'm not going to be able getting Anthony Davis. Carl Anthony Towns versus Giannis in the finals. Giannis comes out on top. Yeah, the Towns did stay in Minnesota. So, let's go to the draft fodder here. Uh, imagine our pick at 14 goes to number one. I'm guessing it was 14 now. Celtics have the 14th pick in this draft. Now, let's go to the NBA draft now. So, I don't really know who is a good defensive power. I mean, let's look at power forward to center with at least... Hmm, let's go inside D. Where's inside D? Or post D, at least a B plus or better. Rebounding, at least a B or better. Perimeter D, could we go like C minus or better? And then, yeah, so let's see who we got. Oh. White side's actually, that's pretty good. Gobert's got B perimeter. DeAndre Jordan has B minus perimeter D. That's really good. Nobody here is a power forward. Nobody here. <laughs> Joe Keep Noah. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't think I could pick up Joel Embiid. We could try it. Buddy Healed. What's the problem? We would acquire six mil. And I'll throw you hmm, Kenneth Fareed. And we're not going to be able to do this. Okay. What about if we did Bogdanovich and Buddy Healed for Joel Embiid? And I'll throw you two second round picks. Plus a future first, but that's probably in a second, and that's the most I'll do. We just picked up Joel Embiid. Okay, I am going to move Marcus Saul to power forward, even though Marcus Saul is actually taller. Hmm. Should I move Marcus Saul? Or, uh, we'll move Marcus Saul to power forward. So, yeah, I just kind of gave up my whole bench there, but we just picked up Joel Embiid. So, I'm really excited. We have the starting five filled out for next year. We just got to get the bench. Giles, come off the bench. 76 overall. Vanderbilt, um, I mean, I'm going to try to bring back Lebissier. 
Vanderbilt, we can maybe pull in a trade. Okay, I think the bench could be very good. We are going to advance here, but wow, I did not expect to get Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid is actually not that hard to trade for in this game, believe it or not. So Fox, let's bring back. Let's bring back Jackson, Giles, and Vanderbilt. Uh, people will be using a trade or not. Please tell me. Okay, yeah, Frank Mason will offer those two guys the qualifying offers. Now, please, please tell me that there is a... Uh, okay, Eric Gordon. I know I get him a lot. But we're actually going to need him here. 9.31. I'm glad. That's what I wanted to say. I was like, please tell me we do have a $9 million mid-level exception. And we are going to pick up Aaron Gordon, most likely. Pau Gasol would be interesting. Ed Davis. We can offer the minimum, too. So we get Ed Davis. We're not going to read out the rights on these two. But everybody else, we will. Because they are restricted. So, um, yeah. I can't believe we just got Eric Gordon. That's really nice. I honestly think he'll just be equally the, val equally the value of Buddy Hield was to us last year. And then we also have... Um, and we picked up Joel Embiid. So, let's see here. Um, we do get Frank Mason. Scout, just accept your... Okay, I'll match your deal. There we go. Okay. So, we have 13 players. Let's see who's actually playing. So, Fox is 1. Gordon and Thompson is 2 and 3. Doncic is 4. Gasol is 5. Farid is 6. 7 is Davis. Or... And 8 is Embiid. So, I'm going to try to trade... Hmm. I'm going to try to trade guys for a backup point guard. So, what could I get? For Scalabissier, Justin Jackson, and Harry Giles. Can I get a good backup point guard for these guys? Pogden, we can get back, and Covington. Can I just get a really good backup point guard? Okay, we didn't get any point guard here. So, let's look at point guards. Hmm, who is not making? Like, Schroeder would be a cool backup point guard, actually. So, let's do Scal, Jackson, and Giles. Sure, take my money. And I'll give you Jared Vanderbilt. There we go. So we just picked up Dennis Schroeder. He will be the backup. I want to go with De'Aaron Fox all the way. So this team is actually going to be sick, guys. I'll see you guys at trading camp. All right, guys. I honestly think we can win it all this year. I really do. So we're going to send Doncic. We are also going to send Fox. Tons of potential. And then just so he doesn't regress, I want to send Marcus Hall. He's already 34, but he's still an 86. So I'm going to take that. So he still has a potential. Now, this team, guys, it's really good. So yeah, Fox... Thompson, Doncic, Gasol, Embiid, Schroeder, Gordon, Fareed, Davis. Yes, sir. This team is actually very good. We'll do 20. We'll do 25 here. We'll do 21, 25. 34, 32, 34, uh, 35, 34. All right. That's going to be for me now. I will see you. Actually, let's go 34 to Clay. Let's go 35 to Embiid. I want a big year out of Embiid. I will see you guys at the end of the year. I think we're championship contenders. Yep, number four in the league. And I think we can win it all this year. And I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, guys. So Curry wins MVP. Amir Kofi. Kofi wins second round pick. Okay. Literally the 53rd pick in the draft wins rookie of the year. Interesting. Jordan Bell on the Magic Six Man of the Year. Rudy Gobert, defense player of the year. Daniel Theis, most improved. William Jackson once again. So we do pick up 50 wins. We were the one seed, I think, at the All-Star break. Then we kind of dipped off a little bit. LeBron is on the Denver Nuggets. Let's go. I want LeBron to join the Nuggets or Jazz. Won't happen, but I want it to happen. Um, any other? We get any Kings? Uh, B, there we go. 16, 11.3, two box a game. Very nice. 27% from three. Ugh. Okay, I thought you would do a little bit better than that. Any other kings? And we're not going to have any rookies. So, we are the five seed to get on the four seeded Timberwolves in round one. We have Butler. Obviously, this big three still. And then the Lakers were really good. Adams and Jordan combo. All right, stats per game. And, yeah, Thompson. And then Embiid, Fox, Doncic, Schroeder, Gasol, Gordon, Fareed, Ed Davis. Team's still very good. I still think the team's very good. I think we'll be good. Uh, points per game, we were 7th. Allowed points per game, we were 5th. Point differential, we were 4th. So, solid all around. Alright, let's go. Game 1 against Minnesota. I think we got this. Okay, we pick up game 1 win. We win by 35. Let's go. Triple-double for Marcus Saul. Okay. Game 2. Damn it. Alright, they beat us by 20. Oh, Game 3. That's not the game I want. Game 3. Okay. We're up 2-1. Win this one by 11. And beat with the game high, or team high at least. Dodgers 20, 10, and 7. Game 4. Damn it, they tied up 2 2. They win this one by 3. Dodgers and Embiid with double doubles. Game, uh, what is this? Game 5. Damn it, they're up 3 to 2. Oh, they win by 10. Alright, they win by 10. Not looking good. Not looking good in the slightest. Game 4. Or game 5. Oh, I meant that was game 6. Okay, I'm stupid. There's something kind of blocking the screen with the numbers. It's like a little, like, it's like my pop filter on my mic. So it's kind of hard to see through it. But we do tie it up. Game 7. Uh, we're going to game seven here. All right, come on. In Oh, no, we're going to be in Minnesota. 
All right. I don't know who's going to be there. Maybe Adrian Peterson. Um, Kirk Cousins is here. Um, is Devin Dubinick still the goalie of the wild? And you also have uh, Miguel Sano. Byron Buxton is here. I honestly... Okay. And we, we beat them in their home crowd. Let's go. We won by 12. And B, 26, 10, and 6. I love it. Marcus Saul, 13, and 13. Let's freaking go. And we're going to take on the Rockets. Game 1 against the Rockets. We win. All right. Win by 9. James Harden dropped 49. And B, 27, and 14. That one. We pick up the dub. Game 2. Damn it. All right. They beat us by 1 point. Really? Harden's just God mode right now. Clay, come on. You're a good defender. So I'm down a little bit. All right. Win this one by 14. Come on. Let's go up 3 to 1. Good shit, Doncic. Yes, let's go. 3 to 1. And come on. Let's end it 4 to 1. Let's end it. Damn it. Damn it. Of course. Of course. Of course. We're going to a game 7 and we're going to blow a 3 to 1 lead. I know we are. I'm just expecting it. I'm expecting it. Just kidding. I'm not expecting it because we move on. Win this one by 24 and we're taking on. Yes. Thank you, LA. Thank you. We're taking on the Lakers here in round 1. Rematch of what was that? The 2002-2003 Western Conference Finals. The most like rigged. Uh, West, yeah. People would say that's the most rigged series ever. And alright. We win game one. It's the Knicks Sixers. Oh my god. Atlantic Conference versus what is Are they the Pacific? Please tell me they're the Pacific. Yep. The Pacific versus Atlantic right here. Two completely different sides of the country. Alright. Let's go. Uh, Eastern Seaboard. Western Seaboard. And um... Yeah, Pacific Ocean versus Atlantic Ocean, I guess we could say. Come on, let's go up 2-0. Damn it, they beat us by ugh, 10. Not a good fourth quarter at all. We only scored 13 points. All right, 1-1. We won a game in LA. Come on, going back to Sacramento here. Not to, what is it? Yeah, it's definitely north. Come on. Let's go, baby. We pull out with a 10-point win. Clay drops 36. Hits 9 threes as a plus 23. Kenneth Freed, you suck. All right, 2-1. to one. Come on, if we can go up 3-1, to one, it's over. It's over. I don't think we're going to blow a 3-1 lead. Come on, come on. Let's go, baby. We win by 11. 29, 8, and 7 for Doncic. All right, game four now. Um, Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is game five, excuse me. And we win by nine. And we're going to the Easter, uh, the NBA Finals. It's pretty much like the two biggest laughing stocks of the NBA in like most recent time. At least the one from the Western Conference, one from the Eastern Conference. Knicks versus Kings, the finals we all expected. Okay, the Knicks have a dope defensive lineup frank nilakina brogdon bomba porzingis oh my god i wonder how they got here obviously their defense were they the best defensive team watch them be like crappy in defense nope they were the best or yeah best defensive team um yeah we had a 6.3 point differential all right game one they are a two seed i'm kind of nervous i'm actually kind of nervous these defensive teams are usually super good but we do win the first game in the mecca 24 rebounds for Embiid. holy crap that's a lot Okay, game two here. If we can go up 2-0, that would be big. Uh, damn it. Damn it. What is that fourth quarter, yo? All right, at least we won one in New York. Now going to the complete opposite side of the country to Sacramento. And we will pick up this win by six and be 28-13. and 13. Let's go 2-1. to one. If there is a close game, I will probably hop in. Uh, that one was pretty close, but it looks like this one. All right, we're going to be going up 3-1 to one or 3-2. to 3-1. to one. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this in New York. I'm sorry, Knicks. As much as I would want you to win, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I will see you guys in the game. We're about to get Sacramento an NBA championship. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the game. We're up by 30. I'm not blowing a 30-point lead in two and uh, three minutes. All right. So, Clay Thompson is in. He's got 32 points, 8 plus per minute D, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Marcus Sol's got 6 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. Good contributing. Embiid's got 16 to 9. Fox has 12.6 assists. Ooh, Embiid, good steal possibly? Uh, Doncic has 13 points, 9 rebounds, no way he hits that. Alright, Doncic, let's see what you can do. This is your video. Um, you do only have a, th a B three-pointer, but I don't know who's guarding you. Is this Kirkus? I don't know, but let's see what you can do. And you turn it over. Nope, that's Larry Nance Jr. of all people, right? That is just... Actually, he's a pretty good perimeter D. I'm not going to knock on his perimeter D. But Doncic, come on. You're the guy. You're the title thumbnail. We need you to show out here. Um, do you run floppy? Okay, let's see what you can do. Will you get open? Come on. Larry Nance Jr. is not... You're... Actually, you're probably not that much faster than Nance Jr., Embiid, where is that screen? But will this go in? Ooh, okay. Heavily contested. He still knocks it down. And yeah, we are up by 31. Uh, if this ever happened, I'd be depressed losing to the... I mean, this team, I would not be like that shocked. But imagine the Knicks... Imagine the Knicks versus Kings finals in 2020. That'd be... That'd be wild. So, yeah, we are up by 31. The, Nick, the NBA really needs to add an expansion team. Just saying or two. And okay, good stuff, Gasol. Let's roll out Doncic. Um... 
Ooh, fade away. Ooh, good pass to Fox. Ah, oh, never mind. That was not a good pass. But yeah, Doncic does have some good passing skills as a big man. I mean, no, as a big man. As a bigger guard. Uh, I believe he is 6'7". Is that right? Jesus, what's with these turnovers? But I know he can play small forward. He can play point guard. And he can play shooting guard. And who? Fred Nielakina. Number 14. Interesting. What is... Dude, I don't even know Fred Nielakina's number off the top of my head in real life. What is it? Oh my god. What is his number in real life? It's not 14, right? I mean, roll. Um, wait. Now I gotta look up what his number is in real life. Because I don't know it off the top of my head. And it's gonna piss me off. Alright, it was 11. I don't know why. I'm just really bad. There's three things I'm really bad with kind of guessing off the top of my head. Uh, or two at least. I'm really bad with numbers and players' height. I'm never really spot on. I always forget players' numbers. Always. Like, there is the common ones that I do know. But, like, I could even tell you what Clay Thompson's number in real life is. I know it's not 22. Is it like 30? No. 11? No. 10? Oh, God. I'm going to embarrass myself even more. I'm not going to bother with this. Uh, Ed Davis is in. Our rewarded savior. Oh, that's not a foul. But, yeah, we're going to win this game. Finals MVP. It's either going to be Clay or Embiid. I'm going to say it's going to be Embiid. So, yeah, we're going to figure out who won Finals MVP. And it is going to be. Is it going to be Embiid or is it going to be Thompson? Hmm. I'm going to guess it's Embiid. And it is Embiid. 20 points. Oh, okay, yeah. 11, about 12 boards, 4 offensive boards, 3 assists, 1 steal, 1 block, 57% from the field, only 14 from 3, damn. Okay, but yeah, we won it all, so yeah, that is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching, I hope you guys did enjoy this prospect style rebuild. Let me know in the comments any other prospect style rebuilds you guys want to see next, and I, you might get a double upload today, you might not, I'm not positive, but yeah, you'll definitely be seeing this video, at least, I don't know if you'll be seeing another video, because I am recording this on the 12th, you'll obviously be seeing this on the 13th, so yeah, that's going to be for me, I love you guys, see you guys next video, peace.